mums, do your children try to memorize the timetables? This book shows you how many items they will have to remember by heart. Wow, it's quite a lot of memorizing, isn't it? With a small number, it might be easy, as you can see here. In case they forget something, just start with the nearest one they know, then add up with the same number. Like, for example, 6 times 4. In case they forget, they could start from, let's say, 5 times 4, it's 20, and then add another 4 to make it 24. It's okay. But, what happened with a bigger number such as 7 or 8? There would need much more time to add up that way. Here I'll show you how to work out the timetables for bigger numbers that works from 5 to 10 timetables. So let's go straight to the real example. Let me pick two bigger numbers, 7 and 8. This is how you work out 7 times 8. Put 7 on your left hand and 8 on your right hand. Let's count from 6. It's 6, 7 on your left hand. Now count again on the other hand. 6, 7, 8. You've got 2 and 3 sitting fingers, which are the tens. And then add them together so they make 15. And now you multiply the standing fingers to make the ones. 3 times 2 is 6. So they all make 50 and 6. That's 56. Let's check it out. Hmm. Yes, it's correct. Would you like another example? Uh, let's check if this method works for 6 times 9. Put 6 on your left hand. 6. Put 9 on your right hand. 6, 7, 8, 9. Add the sitting fingers. The 5 together making 50. Then multiply the one standing there. We've got 4 times 1 is 4. So all together they make 54. Let's check it out. And yes, it's again correct. Let's try again with different numbers. This method works really well for me. I've been using this since I was a kid because memorizing is one of my weaknesses, to be honest. So I feel so good I can share it with you all today. Hope you enjoy it. Bye!